But hello, hello, everybody. We are going to continue and potentially finish Digimon Survive. I think I got to relatively the end where it's potential there's like, a, I feel like we're at the final battle. We're about to enter the final battle, potentially, hopefully, and then there will be a big ol' bibbidi bop epilogue and stuff, and maybe time to play around with anything else that might crop up post-game. We don't know. Hell, there could be a part 12 to this. I do not know. But in happy news, I managed to make it so my expressions function even when games are like, that's the one thing, that's the one thing that I was very annoyed by this game is because even though, because what I used to do was I had my expressions locked to uh, the numpad, but with numlock on. So it's like, ah, numpad one, numpad two. But for some reason, Digimon Survive looks past the numlock and it's like, no, that's the, uh, that's not only two, that is also the down arrow. I don't know why it does that, but it does. <laughs> It's weird. But I used a proper program to move things around in Bibbidi Bop, and now things can actually function. Things can be. But let us get a move on to the start of the end of Digimon Survive. See if there's any, like, again, because I don't know, this could be the end. There could be five hours left. There could be three hours left, it could be ten. I just assume this is the end because it feels like the end. It'll be very awkward if it's like, will this finally be the end for like three streams in a row in a row? No, this is something else. Careful everyone! Out of the way, you sacrificial lambs! Be gone! Ah! What he said. We got thrown off by the shaking and didn't notice until it was too late. Legs collapsed, bodies thrown in the air. It's so dark. Almost as if the darkness is trying to swallow us up. So did we get bowled over by a giant monstrosity? Well, there is part 12. If only I waited one moment longer. Well, let's see if part 12 will... Okay, so we're jumping back to the real world for a second. Also, Alpha Squad. That seems pretty... I don't know. Could be just my mind. It feels like that feels very official and big. But, but, but yeah, I thought there was... I thought, for whatever reason, I thought 11 would be the end, but no. Eh. I thought that was going to be in, but no. We're on for, for a full-on time! Come in, HQ. This is Alpha Squad. No targets found. Copy that, Alpha Squad. Continue the search. So yeah, we're back in the real world. I'm sorry, but could you go over things again for us? Any idea where they might be? Well, no. I'm afraid. Not really. They're not the type to just go off on their own. Hey, did you hear? A college professor and some local kids are missing too. Yeah, and the professor's in his 60s. Even the adults are getting lost. It's crazy. Think it's a mass disappearance? I heard one happened here 50 years ago. Between you and me, I heard they all got spirited away like by an actual monster. Yeah, something weird is on the loose out here in the mountains. I saw it. At first I thought maybe I was just imagining things, but check this out. Uh, that's really blurry. I kind of panicked, okay? But what do you think it is? Oh, it's like some kind of monster. That's definitely not just an animal. This one looks like it could be a clown. Then then again, it doesn't seem human. Look, these two are facing off against each other. It's like they're about to fight. Maybe these are the monsters that have been kidnapping people. This is wild. I bet it would really blow up if you put it online. No way. Everyone would just think it was a fake. And again, I guess it couldn't hurt to see what happens. So is that going to play into the people beginning to believe again? Because that's I think that's part of what they were kind of going over last time we played this game, was 
the digital world's kind of falling apart to a degree because its connection to the real world is becoming like lax because people stop believing in the kimonogamy. Great, we're in this place again. Where am I? It's so dark. I can't see a thing. Oh, what happened to Agumon? Takuma? Takuma, where are you? Agumon! Oh, I'm so glad you're safe. Takuma! You're okay too! Yeah, I think we lucked out, but we can't afford to relax just yet. We can hardly take on the master all by ourselves. We need to find the others first. Right, let's go, Takuma. With everyone working together, we'll take down the master. And I'm scared. That, I hope that, uh, I don't know. I don't even know what to hope for. Man, wherever this is, it sure is tough to walk. It's so dark, I can't see the ground. Takuma, there's someone up ahead. I can sense it. Hello? Is someone there? Takuma. Why, it's Takuma and Agumon. Professor, Miyuki, and Gabumon, too! You both seem unharmed. Oh, I'm so glad. Isn't this great, Renamon? Takuma and Agumon are okay. Still so happy that that happened. Really eased my heart. Make me happy. Miyuki's holding on to a large egg. It must be Ren Renamon. So where are we? Do you know what this place is? This is the shrine's lowest level. It's where the master lives and also inside his body. More importantly, this is where we can open the door back to our world. You've been here once before, Takuma. Do you remember? It was right before we went back. Oh, right! Only last time it looked like a music room. Back then, the master had taken half my soul. So my memories brought this place to life. This time, things are different. What we're seeing now is a reflection of the master's feelings. That's why it's so dark. The Master wants to keep us from teaming up. He's hoping to take us one at a time. So we need to find the others as soon as possible. <laughs> That's ominous. <laughs> Professor? Oh, pardon me for laughing like that. Only it just came back to me. I'd forgotten just how dependable my sister is. I forgot everything from 50 years ago. <laughs> You're still such a little brat, Haru. Forgot all about me, did you? Well, just don't start treating me like some stranger. I'm still your big sister, you know. <laughs> yes, but at this age, that's a strange thought. And I should be fending for myself. Oh, come on. Don't be like that. Didn't I tell you once already? Yes, you did tell me. You said something similar 50 years ago. Big sis. <laughs> There's so much I want you to tell me after we get back, Haru. I want to hear about your life, about mom and dad, about what's happened in town. Oh, but I did find out TVs have gotten huge, and they hang on walls now. <laughs> Anything you want to know, I'll tell you about it. However long it takes. I'm counting on it. Oh, and one more thing. If we're going back, I want to take Rinamon with me. Be stuck with me for so long. You want to bring back Rinamon's egg with you? That's right. I want him to stay with me. He's my partner, after all. Right, Renamon? Your partner. At this point, that word just feels so right. It's how I think of Agumon, too. You're right. We'll go back home, and then the three of us can live together. That's just another reason why I need to protect you this time around, sis. Right. <laughs> then let's get moving. We need to find the others, and then take on the master. After all, we'll all go home together. And that happy moment wasn't broken by despair. Yay. Help me, please. I'm so scared. Where did you go? Did you hear that? Stay back, sis. Gabumon, you know what to do. Yeah. Agumon, let's help too. Right. No, wait. It's not what you think. Help me, please, Haru. Mom, Dad, Miyuki, where are you? Those are... Haru and Miyuki? What? It can't be! It's... us! Why? Why did you leave me? I'm so scared on my own. Is nobody coming to save me? Miyuki, where are you? I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. This is... This is disturbing. 
I'm going to assume that these are, like, the negative emotions, because, again, the if the partners, like, are able to, like, reflect the dark, like, the state of someone's heart, maybe this is something similar. What's going on? It's painful just listening to this. Ugh. I'm so scared and lonely. It hurts. Don't leave me alone. Somebody, anybody. Poor old man. What's wrong? Professor? I knew it. I knew my sister was in trouble. But I couldn't do anything. Nobody listened. And so this whole time, I... I... Haru, it's okay. Go get them, Magabumon. Rip those two to shreds. That seems extreme. I don't know what this accomplishes. Did, did that attack even do anything? It's not making any move to fight back. I'm not sure we should be attacking without knowing what this thing is. Should we learn more about it, or should I just back up the professor? Professor, we need to learn more. This is dangerous, dangerous. Is this another of the Master's Kanzoku, or something else? We may end up regretting it if we carelessly rush into attack. Don't just stand there, Takuma! Give me a hand! Right, sorry. Even though that... Yeah, uh, I'm. I make the decision. We're gonna go. We're gonna learn more. Gabumon says, "Help me murder the apparitions of children." I'm like, "Fine. I will disregard my previous statement." Oddity. It's okay. Just let them be. We don't have to worry about them. Yuki, stop! It's dangerous to get so close. Huh? They're not attacking. I mean, we just noted that before. They didn't even move to defend themselves. Hmm. <laughs> It's okay now. Don't worry. You're not alone anymore. Your little brother came back to save you. I'm not alone anymore. Yes, and it's the same for me. I found my big sister. I found my way back to her. None of the adults would believe me. So I came back as an adult myself. I'm not powerless like I was as a child. So Miyuki's going to be okay? She is. Listen to me, my shadow. I'm not alone anymore. And you know what? I never really was to begin with. I always had someone at my side. I had my partner who stayed with me through everything. Rena Mon? That's right. The fakes aren't crying anymore. Miyuki and the professor must have overcome themselves. After the professor tried to kill himself. That's pretty amazing. Yuki really is something else. Miyuki, the egg! Me is... Well, that would be pretty quick if me the egg Grinamon came back. It's cracked! It's starting to break open! I don't know how to feel, because that was... Very fast. Literally, if I didn't stop, that would be like 10 minutes between death and rebirth. Okay, sure. That's right. I made a promise. I swore that I would never leave you alone. <laughs> Renamon! Yuki. Yuki, thank you. Your heart called me back. Much faster than that little bitch Patamon. Of course. Welcome back, Renamon. Why? That's not good. They became Kinzoku. Why? They transformed! Oh no, they're on the attack! <laughs> Professor, Miyuki, get back! Both of you, keep clear. We'll take care of this. Let's go, Rinamon. I will keep my Miyuki safe. Yeah, that, that was just a really fast resurrection. Happy music there, so... So are you going to go all the way to Metal Gururumon? No, just to Gururumon. Interesting choice. And I can bring in one. I bring in the boy. That w that's, an, uh, that's just an interesting choice. To bring Renamon back that quickly. 
Miyuki isn't alone anymore. She's got Haru, Takuma, and lots of other friends. I guess that means she doesn't need me to keep her safe anymore. No, Renamon, that's not true. You're the one who kept me safe this whole time. Without you, I'd have lost myself. Don't you ever say I don't need you. It's too sad. Please, we need to stick together to support one another. Isn't that what partners do? Miyuki, you're right. I am your partner. I always want to be there for you. You better, because I'm counting on you, Rinamon. I can feel it. Feel my bond with Miyuki. It's like a powerful warmth. This is my... No. Oh, this is our power! I don't quite get why we're going through the Digivolutions like this. It's even playing the Digivolution music. Kind of sad that we don't get a panning shot like normal, but I guess we already did see Sakuya Mon. Miyuki, I will keep you safe, and I will protect this world. Right, let's both save this world together. Don't really get the structure there. The structure there was odd. That's a lot of movement. We should take this slow. Ah, I am all alone. No one is coming to save me. That's not true. Rinnabon stayed with me that whole time and Haru came back for me. The others will all forget me. They'll grow up and leave me behind. I'm so lonely. I feel so sad, so alone. Yes, I know. It's okay. He may look different, but Haru is Haru. And you'll still get to live a normal life again too, Miyuki. Your time is just beginning. It was true. I was lonely and I was scared. But thanks to the others, I can start again. I'm sure there will be more challenges up ahead. But right now, I'm excited to face them. I don't get the function of this. The function is odd. Wait, I thought you were... Uh, better not waste any SP. That's a bit dangerous. It's all my fault. I ran away and left my sister. No! That wasn't my fault! If I hadn't left, I could have saved her. No, it was hopeless. I'm such a worthless coward, I would have failed. Is that right? Back then, I only ever thought about running. Hey, you! Shut up and listen for a change! Enough of your nonsense! Garurumon? It's true you ran away back then, Akiharu. But that's what Miyuki wanted you to do. You carried on the hope that Miyuki had for you, that we both had for you and lived. And then you came back, along with the people you needed to save this world. What's so worthless about that? Nobody else could have ever done it? Garurumon, thank you. Maybe I was a worthless coward back then. Even after returning home, I couldn't help. But not anymore. With all my the time my sister gave me, I gained the experience I needed. And now I will protect her. I'd stake my life on it! So that's probably going to be the thing where everyone needs to have their affinity up to a certain point. Like, this is basically kind of the tutorial. You made the right choices, and everyone is saved. And then everybody else needs to have the affinity, more than likely, to, like, properly survive, which is scary. Wish I could get more information, because that could potentially take away... Basically, that's our last resort, because that does take away Metal Garurumon, I assume. Let's see, though. Yeah, still not a lot, so... Defend. Let's see what physical does. That's a lot of damage. Uh, 
not move again. Let's see. And then... Oh, I can't do it from behind. Darn. Or can I? Probably not, but I might as well see if I can. Then I shall come here and freeze blast you. Oh, his attack is super ranged. Ah, eh, go ahead. Damn you, you little bastard. How dare you miss? We shall move into place. Well, might as well go for the 65. Aha! Well, that's very rude. Because now that should be dead. Go ahead and blast him. Even though my dude is still frozen. Go ahead and blast him from afar. Slightly. <laughs> Thank you for healing him while he's in an ice block. Blast him! Damn it, I got the status effect. And then the game immediately took it away. Blast him! From the past him! Yeah, I'm just scared what's gonna happen in here. Because, again, I think everybody got to a good level of, like, affinity. So, what was that? Who were those two? Those were shadows. The master must have sent them. Shadows? Beings born from the thoughts of those brought to this world. So the master hasn't given up on taking humans in. And humans. But if that's true, won't the others be attacked by those shadows too? Yes, most likely. One second, I'm feeling a sneeze. <laughs> Only one sneeze that time. Usually it's a double. We managed to deal with them because of you, Miyuki. But I'm worried about the others. Yes, we need to find them right away. Oh boy, exploration! Yay! This is probably going to be the most important exploration ever! Adoration and envy. Clashing values. Sibling bonds. Free battle. I'm just scared. I'm just scared. I'm just scared. This could be very important. I feel like they're safe, but I'm not sure. I gotta save them first. I'm scared about them. They're the ones that I'm scared the most about, really. Uh... Tacoma? Did you hear something just now? Is it another shadow? Oh, it's too much. It's all too much. No, no, no. I don't want them all to hate me. That sounded like Aoi and Saki. It must be their shadows. Are they under attack? It's okay, Takuma. If their shadows are here, that means Aoi and Saki can't be too far. Oh, yeah. We should take a look then. Well, there are their shadows. Too much. This is all too much for me. Please don't hate me. Ah! What are those things? Fake versions of us? I don't like this. We should run! I wish they wouldn't count on me. Why do they all put so much faith in me? I'm no good at this kind of thing. I'm really just awkward and shy. Deep down, I'm a coward. I only pretend like I'm strong. 
because I don't want them to hate me. Please don't hate me. What is this? Why is this happening? Shut up! Stop talking like me! Please, no. How do you know how I feel? Don't say that out loud. Stop putting everything on me. Please don't hate me. Enough already! Please stop! You have to stop saying that! Takuma, I found them! They're under attack! Right, let's go save them. I'm very paranoid. Bad things are gonna happen. Like, this has to be the end. There's no way- there, there can't be a 13. No! Miyuki, why are you stopping me? You can't help them with this. It's something Aoi and Saki need to overcome themselves. Ah! Fear. I don't even have a really good... Ah! Ah! Fear. This is their moment of truth. It's not our place to interfere. Ah! So Ryo 2.0! My favorite. My other favorite. Mm -mm 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 -mm. A moment of truth for Aoi and Saki. Please, your trust is more than I can bear. I'm scared and I don't know what to do. I know. It's true. I'm scared. It's too much responsibility. What if I let everyone down? It's true. I'm a coward. I don't know what I'm doing and the responsibility scares me. But when people are in trouble, I still want to help. And my friends are counting on me. I'm a coward. All I ever do is run away and I hate myself for it. Well, yeah. It's not very hard to scare me. At times I've even hated myself for that. But you know what? Who cares? Because here's the thing. Everyone gets scared. What's the point in hating yourself anyway? Doesn't that just make you miserable? <sighs> okay, good. They came out of it. Like, this feels... This could be the point where characters could die. Where they fail to overcome themselves. That's what it could potentially be. Ah! My friends count on me because they believe in me. That gives me all the courage I need. I've learned to accept myself for who I am. I don't hate myself anymore. Because now... Now I have friends. And they all care for me. That's right. Everyone believes in Aoi. And if things ever get really bad, you can always count on me. Labramon. I could never hate you, Saki. After all, everybody loves you. Floramon. No. You will not escape. You're not going anywhere. So do they have to fight the... Kenzoku shadows on their own too? Or do we get to step in? Once again, I choose one. Uh-huh. I'm going to go for... Uh, I'll, I'll go for a Renamon. Level her up some. But yeah, again, I have no idea where... This, I do not know where the seams are for this game. Like, you can easily tell in some games... Oh, you need to have uh, him with you. All right, that makes sense. So if you want super, super power, you have to kind of uh, sacrifice it. Hmm. Let's see. Could try and do major damage to him. Yeah, sure. Blast away, Terra Force! Please don't hate me. I don't want to be alone. You're right. Rejection is really scary. Saki, what are you saying? I'm such a coward, such a liar. I hate myself. No, that's where you're wrong. I can never hate myself. After all, if I don't even like who I am, how could I, anyone else? Besides, I've learned I don't have to worry about everyone liking me all the time. Because I've come to trust that my friends really do care about me. Now that's more like it. You're a good person, Saki, and everyone likes you. <laughs> Thanks, Floramon. Yeah, I'm just eternally scared. I'm gonna be paranoid throughout this entire mission. This not Oh yeah, I never did get you to 70 affinity, so I don't have your ultimate power. That is a disappointment. But oh well. 
Eh, not enough. Not enough damage to go through it. Yeah, I'm just... I'm gonna be forever scared throughout this entire... Entire dibbity da Go for it, sure. Didn't get, get them both, but oh well. I'm scared. I feel so insecure. I can't handle everyone else's trust. Yes, I do struggle with insecurity. I don't think I have what it takes to lead everyone. What, Howie? When I don't have to do all my... Uh, but I don't have to do it all by myself. When I'm struggling, I can rely on my friends. And by leaning on one another, we'll all support each other. That's my kind of leadership. You said it, Owie. And don't forget you can rely on me, too. I rely on you all the time, Labramon. But I wonder what that, like, does, functionally. Like, if something bad can happen there. If, like, I don't know. I don't know what the conditions are. And quite honestly, I do not want to play through this game risking uh, bad things happening to my uh, my favorite characters. Let's go ahead and blast you. I am just terrified of this. In <laughs> Is that enough to kill? That is enough to kill. Get out of here. And then I can move. Whoop, 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 whoop. Interesting. Are you going to freeze him again? How dare you... Like, who was it? Like, Beyonce? <laughs> Shoving? That's like a meme now. Stab. Now that was a scream. But again, I'm just utterly terrified. Blast him! Blast him hard! You are a nuker and I love you. Once again, super odd that Renamon just came back super fast. Lol. Okay, so definitely uh, don't utilize the not super level Digimon too much. Then again, I could have just been in a bad place and just had a bad... Uh, crunchy apple! Crunchy apple! Mm -mm -mm. Are either of you hurt? For one second, I need to assign the crunchy apples. Since we're going to be more stabby-stabby, and now somebody needs physical defense. Who needs physical defense? Hilariously, you. And save, because paranoia, 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 paranoia. Are either of you hurt? We're all right, thanks. But I guess you saw some pretty embarrassing stuff just now. You know what? It's weird, but I don't remember seeing anything at all. <laughs> That's okay. You don't have to hide it. We're friends, right? We can trust each other. Absolutely. Yeah, we're friends! We could never think less of you! Thanks, Agumon. The next we need to go in sibling bonds. My sister. Enough already. Did you hear that? Those must be Kaido and Mew's shadows. No, and I notice how, like, nobody's, like, really involved in this. Kaido! Mew, stay back! I'll deal with these things! Ooh, I'm a terrible brother. I couldn't keep my sister safe. <clears throat> what kind of brother fails to protect his sister? That can never happen again! Stop it! Not another word out of you! I'm a burden to my family. If it hadn't been for me, we wouldn't have moved. My parents wouldn't treat me like some kind of disease. I wish I could just disappear. How? How can you know what I'm thinking? Stop this right now! Both of you, get out of your our heads! Stop hurting us like this! Stop hurting Mew! I wish I could just disappear. So... So what? 
Is that the worst you can do? Because I can take a lot more than that! After everything I've been through, this is nothing. Oh, it's all because of me. All because I'm such a burden. You know what? Yeah, I can be a burden. I can be selfish and have hearted sometimes, too. But that's never stopped my brother from caring about me. Not once. He is the greatest, most caring brother in the entire world. Mew? Is that really how you think of me? What? Well, don't act so surprised. Ah, uh, this is the worst. I so wanted to keep that secret. You're gonna pay for making me say that! I failed my sister. Hey, didn't you hear that, you big phony? Mew thinks I'm the best brother in the world. I don't care what you say to me now. Let's finish these freaks, Kaido. You got it, Mew. That... That is great. That is great. That is a good finish to the arc. Kaido, Mew! Oh, come on. We've got to help them. Right! That is a fantastic end to the arc. They, things have to be good now. You know what? I'm going to throw in Labramon because Anubismon is top tier for me. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Things are good, I think. I have to protect my sister. I have to. <sighs> you little punk. Kaido, don't listen to him. That's not really how you feel. No, Drachmon. That is how I feel. Kaido? You're right. I'll do whatever it takes to protect Mew. But so what? I'm her brother. Of course I'm gonna look out for her. And here's the thing, you stupid phony. She's not so weak she can't do anything for herself. If you forget that and get overprotective, then you're really in for it. Heh, <laughs> now that's what I'm talking about. You're a real piece of work, Kaido. Oh, shut up. Let's do this already. Ooh, this is all very satisfying. Yozamon time! I'll move forward one, just in case. Oh yeah, I am just... I am scared at what might come. Just scared at what might come, but hey, things are going good so far. Terra Force! I'm nothing but a burden. All of this, everything, it's all my fault. Don't be ridiculous. How could all this possibly be Mew's fault? Well, I really did used to think that, you know. Mew. Ah, but not anymore. Thanks to you and all the others, I've changed. Sitting around crying about things won't help. I can't just let... Well, excuse me. I can't just let the others protect me. I need to stand on my own two feet and take care of things myself. I'm doing just fine now, thanks to Siakoman, my friends, and my brother. <laughs> oh, Mew. Hell yeah. Everyone's coming out of this all right. And this feels like this would be the big ol' section section that... If bad things were gonna happen, I feel like... Like, if we failed our, our friends, this would be like the section that the failing would take place. I'll go ahead and focus you. But I just feel like good things are happening. Feel like good things are happening. I feel like we're on our way to a good ending. I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope. Still so cool that we get Beelzemon. I mean, I could just attack again and then move. Take this. I'll move there just so I can, like, be in the range for everybody.
I'll drop it on you. Drop the bomb. Just to be safe. Go on in there, Beelzemon. You do a thing. You do as little a thing as you possibly can, Beelzemon. That... Why do they all... Oh, because he has taunt. He has a taunt crystal. Makes sense. Now die. Hell yeah. Things are going good. Things are going fine. Things are all right. Things are okay. Things are not bad. How'd you like that, losers? Go on, say something. Uh, guess they're already gone. You okay, Mew? You lost it again, didn't you, Kaido? I don't know what is wrong with you. What have you gotten hurt? Oh, uh, sorry. But thank you. Mew, am I hearing things? I could have sworn you just said... Thank you. You heard right. I'm glad you kept me safe. Yeah, you're welcome. You know, you're being super cute right now. Ew, gross. I don't want to hear that from my brother. No, it's gross no matter what. You're so hopeless. <laughs> well, I'm really glad you're both okay. Of course. And thanks for showing up, Takuma. I'm gonna help out from now on, too. You've been helping out. Sakuyamon has been one of the most powerful Digimon in our group. Now we just need to save Minoru. Once again, I feel like he's safe. I feel like he's been again. He, I think... I'm almost scared to check. Is he the lowest? He is the lowest of the people of Infinity. Oh, no. Please don't die! Wah! I think that was Minoru. Well, either that or his shadow. Hang on, Minoru, I'm coming. Uh, uh, no, stop it. Please, just stop. I can't do anything right. I'm useless. I'm the only one who's a complete failure. Uh, cut it out! Minoru, try and stay focused. I can't protect anyone. Not even myself. I don't have Aoi's courage or Takuma's strength or anything. I'm no hero. And I never will be. Shut up! Don't say that. Please, just don't. I know all that, okay? Minoru. I know I'm worthless. A total failure. No good at sports, school, anything. I know I'm trash. That's why I always act so cheerful. I smile to try and drown it all out. I'll have just to keep the darkness at bay so I can keep going despite how pathetic I am. I thought maybe if I could just keep up a good front, someone would help me. The others are all so amazing. I can't keep up. I'm the only complete failure here. It's true. Takuma and Aoi are both really amazing. They're so dependable and brave. Oh. <laughs> You want to hear something funny? I, also, I always wanted to be a hero, like on TV, but I couldn't do it. I failed. Takuma, Aoi, everyone else, they're the real heroes. Why did it have to turn out like this? I never wanted to be this way. That's what Minoru's been thinking? But he's not like that at all. I have to set him straight. Minoru, listen to me. Wait! Professor? Why would you stop me? Why shouldn't I say something? I know it must be hard, but this is his trial to overcome. There's a time when a person needs to decide for themselves what their life means to them. Right now, all we can do is watch. Minoru. Uh, but I'm worried about Minoru. You just keep blabbing on and on about all my worst thoughts and insecurities. I haven't felt this bad since I thought I was going to poop my pants in elementary school. Poop? <laughs> that is... That hardly seems all that embarrassing to me. Eh! Professor Takuma? You're here? No way, how long have you been here? Uh, a little while now. Well, why didn't you say something? If I'd known, I would have come up with a better line. Um, anyway, get ready, fake me. I pooped my pants. Did not. I'm not about to lose to you either, because I'm not really all that bad. I think... No, I know it. Yeah, I've managed to survive out here in spite of everything. 
And seeing Takuma here helped me remind me. I've got some pretty awesome friends. And if heroes like Takuma and Aoi are friends with me, then I can't be a total failure. Now I am done wasting time like this. My friends are waiting for me. I am... I am... Falcomon! Minoru, I am here! You overcame this trial with your own strength. Just what I was waiting for. But try not to be so harsh on me next time, okay? So is this going to be a big one? A big solo one? No, it's just one. Sure, I'll throw you in so we can Omega Mon this guy. Start bat. I can't do anything right. I'll never be a hero. You're right. I've never seemed to do anything right. I've probably held the others back. But in spite of all that, there's one thing I can do better than anyone. Something I can do better than anyone? I can act cheerful, stay positive, and always be the life of the party. And unlike some gloomy sap like you, I can keep everyone's spirits up. No, that's a lie. Well said, Minoru. Nothing could be more true. The strength of your heart is where your true power lies. <laughs> you said so. Yeah, you said it. All right, everyone banish their insecurities. I hope that's a good sign. Oh. Go ahead and blast him some. Let's go ahead and digivolve all the way to Omega Mom. And you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and do this. Let's boost all our stats. A great deal of souls have bestowed their power unto me. Here I go, Takuma! Supreme Cannon! Yay! He's frozen now. And now I'll punch you from the back. A backstab from a Megamon is instant kill for these guys, basically. Nice. Ah. <sighs> Man, that was a close one. Not really. Omega Mon came in and wiped wiped ass. Completely. Those jerks going after my insecurities. That master's so going to pay for this. Yeah, let's go teach him a lesson. And Minoru, one more thing. As far as I'm concerned, you're my hero. <laughs> Here's to an ongoing beautiful friendship, Takuma. All right, everyone. Well, all right, everyone. That makes everyone. It's time for us to take on the master once and for all. Yes, only first we'll have to find him. Now yeah, it looks like he's found us. Look over there. It's him. Are we actually going to be able to see him? That's fucking freaky. Never, never forgotten. In my world, your dreams endure forever. This is the master? Yes, I am the master of this world. I am its will made manifest, and as its caretaker, I rule with compassion. Huh? What are you talking about? Dude, I don't think talking is the answer here. The guy's spouting pure nonsense. Yeah, who cares about having a conversation? We know what we've got to do. Yeah, you're right. No doubt about it, that's our enemy. And we need to defeat it. I can feel them. The souls of all the lost children. They're inside him. He covets the souls of children. Uses them to sustain this world. And he wants mine too. He takes their souls? So that means he's got Shuji and Ryo in there too? Yes. He used them to maintain this world. 
So he's the one who consumed Shujin Ryo. And now he's coming after us, too. He's been behind everything. And we don't... And if we don't stop him, he's going to attack our world. I hate him. I want him to pay for what he's done. I went through hell because of him. But there must be some reason he's done all this. Is there any way we could talk to him? I am just super paranoid. I'm scared. Maybe we could talk. Is... Is there no way we can talk this out? Could you at least tell us why? Takuma! It's no use. This thing doesn't even know we're here. It's a lightning bolt or a storm, a mindless power seeking only to destroy. Ah. Takuma, while I respect your thoughtfulness, the time for talk is long past. Let's end this. And then go home. Almost there. Just a bit more and we'll finally be able to go home. That's right. We're going home. All of us together. And I'm gonna have curry! Final battle! Oh no! It's the final battle time! Let's do this! Let's do this! Well, that's horrifying. So I have every one and two bonus. You'll be the item dispenser, but this guy's probably going to be throwing out everything at us. We need to Omega Mon immediately. I guess that's like, oh, you can attack him here. Dang it. Because I don't think that this will reach. One away. Yeah, you'll be the item dispenser, so you need to be a, a back a bit. Because this guy probably has area of effect attacks. He has to. I am very scared. Let's go all the way. One away. But I need to be careful because this guy's probably gonna have area of effect attacks. But that does mean that he won't be able to do, like, side attacks, I think, maybe. I don't know. Oh, I'm very scared. Very, very scared. We'll just have to use lots of ribs. For this fight, probably. Yeah, because let me see, how much health do you even have? 4,000, the most we've seen in this game, but doesn't seem insurmountable. Oh, that's not good. Okay, that's not bad. That is not bad. Master, I blast at you. I probably should have done the talk and got bonus points. Blast him. I'm going to move out of the way so we can, like, have multiple people on multiple sides. Hopefully not get blasted like that again. But the two knights stand proud. Oh. 
Uh, probably should uh, be behind him. Try to come at him from the side. Yeah, you go to the side as well and try to get close up. Dang it, almost there. Oh, fuck. Hate that I skipped so many of my guys. Hmm. But he's the one that does most. He had his turn. We just need to resurrect everybody and heal them. And I did the thing again. I forgot to diddly D. Not talk item. What is it, La? Uh, Game resource target. The Definitely gonna fully restore you. Damn it! That's. I had my chance to do something cool and I failed. Do some. Let's see. Get rid of that. Bit too late. I failed, but oh well. So we might want to actually draw people back to not get hit by Horfrost again. Am I in the right range? I am for you. Go for one blast. Come to me. That's weird. What is that stuff? Is he healing himself? Or creating an attack? The master is absorbing the growing mass of something! I don't like this feeling. Is he getting even more powerful? Now he's going to be able to do an attack. Please don't be Horfrost again. That is such a cheap move. That's mean. I hardly got to do anything with them. The game basically cheated there. Fine, I'll move back and still attack you. Cheating asshole. And I forgot to do the thing again. Yeah, I'm gonna step back. Boost seat again. Go ahead and blast him. Luckily, you can also heal yourself. Let's see.
All right, time for healing. Salve pack. Ever so slightly. This would go so much faster if I could actually do things. Unbelievable! Yes, it's incredible! Who'd have thought we'd come so far and he'd get even stronger? He's going to push us back. I can't let that happen. Miyuki, what are you doing? Miyuki. Countless stars. I'm just gonna sing this song. What are you gonna? What is this gonna do? That song. Please don't say you're just gonna throw us into the human world. It's what Miyuki always used to sing. Or is, please let this not open portal and just be like revitalize everyone's courage. Well, that works too. Why couldn't we use the portal to, like, chop him in half? Because he does have beef, sw beef with the Manasseh family. He is losing it. He is losing it. It's hurting him! This space is warping! Something inside him is changing? Is the warping of space holding him down? <laughs> what? Whose phone is that? Are you kidding me right now? It sounds like it's coming from your pocket, Minoru. Oh, it was me. Sorry about that. Uh, I'm getting a call from my mom. Is this for real? I'm getting an alert too. Me too, what's going on? I can read this text just fine. Does this mean we can talk to people in our world again? I don't get it. Why is it working now? The text isn't all garbled, not for anyone. Does that mean mine's working too? Oh, mom. I have several missed calls from my mom, along with a bunch of texts. She must have been really worried. I don't understand. What's happening? What is it? Did something happen to your phones? Miyuki, no! You have to keep singing! Ooh, a cursed maiden! Oh no, everyone, we need to stay focused on the fight! Takuma, now! While I'm singing! You got it! Let's hit him with everything we've got! Blast him some. Uh, but he's still so strong. Too strong. Even with Miyuki's song holding him in place. Oh, Miyuki. You! I will consume you! God damn it. Miyuki! Get in there. Save her. Save her. Stop it. Get away from Miyuki! He's so strong. He's just too powerful. Is there no way we can beat him after all? Huh? I hear something. It sounds like people talking. I got a text? A friend of mine just sent me this. Takuma, is that you? Uh, looks like some sort of video. This is from when we fought Piedmon back in our world. Check this out, it's super cool. You think that's real? No way. Yeah, this is totally fake. Look at all these comments. It's gotta be some sort of scam. Probably video ripped from somewhere online. Can no one enjoy a stun like this anymore? This is why I hate the internet these days. It's not a stun. My friend sent this to me. I don't know it's, if it's related or not, but I heard about something similar. I can't believe how many views this has gotten. 
believe in us. What is this light? What's going on? It's working? Is this our chance? Labramon, over here! Falcomon, we're up! You can count on me, Minoru! Get him, Dragmon! You got it, Kaido! Go for it, Siakomon! We'll doom you! Now it's our turn, Floramon! Alright, if you say so, Saki! Let's go, Agumon! Right, Takuma! Are they all gonna super digivolve into a super duper final form? Oh, hey, he doesn't get a turn this time. Good. Well, let's use an item. Well, better to use this now than never. Hope I can do the attack. I can. Barely. Come on, Omega Mon. Let's go. Let's finish the fight. Supreme Cannon! Let's give him the best rib. Just in case. It'd be hilarious if you got the final kill. I think you're gonna get the final kill. Hilarious. Die by love! Massacred the master, achievement unlocked! Do we get the happiness? Supreme happiness unlocked? Ultimate enlightenment slab. Why would we get that now? That makes me scared! <laughs> That's a gurgle. Is that all the souls finally free? The master is falling apart, fading away. Look at all those lights. Are those the souls of the sacrifices the master took in? That would mean Shujin Ryo are in somewhere, and all that light too. It's over. Yeah, sorry, but I don't think I had the strength to stay on my feet. Funny, I don't think I do either. Let's just sit down for a while. Oh, hey, look at that! Over there, where the master was! What could it be? It's the master's true form, cleansed of all the sacrificial souls. That is, what is, that is what's left. And even that is starting to fade. What? You mean he's still alive? And should we leave this, things this way? Well, it's about to fade away, right? It's not going to hurt us, is it? So, what are we going to do about it? Mew, be careful. Don't get too close. Wait, I hear something. Huh? You're right. It's like a voice from inside the light. We'll not fade. We'll never fade. Ah! What? That's its voice. All I ever wanted was to protect this world. As it is, it will collapse. It must be protected with the power of the sacrifices. It is the only way. You must believe me. He wanted to protect this world. Did you hear that? He said he was collecting sacrifices for our sakes. 
So everything he did was to preserve our world and keep us safe? Yeah, I'm sure that was very hard. The Master may have kept our world safe, but... That was wrong. Agumon. Any world that needs child sacrifices to keep it going deserves to be destroyed! That kind of world shouldn't exist. You make a good point. Yes. I'd rather not have a world like that at all. Agumon. All we wanted was to go back to our own world and keep it safe. We never want to destroy this one. Takuma, thank you. Thank you for caring about us, even though countless children died for our sakes. That wasn't your fault, Agumon. How could it be? But can this world even be maintained without sacrifices? Belief! It is maintained by belief! I don't know. But there has to be a way to work this out. There has to be some way for us to live together in peace. Takuma. Miyuki, Professor, can you think of anything? I don't know. I feel the same way you do, but I just don't know. Well, there may be one way. Professor, clearly we humans have a pronounced effect both on this world and on the Kimonogami. Otherwise, things would never have come to this. Yeah, remember how we all heard those voices, saw the squares of light during the fight? Yeah, what do, yes. What do you think that was? They seem to be kind of like messages on social media. Social media? Yeah, you're right. It was almost like something was trending. Someone took a video of the fight with Piedmon when I was back in our world. That video got shared online and all sorts of people were reacting to it. Wait, so it really did go viral? This place must be a nexus between worlds. That would be why our phones started working. The voices we heard and the lights we saw were even more important, I think. You mean the social media stuff? This is purely speculation, but I believe what this world truly needs isn't sacrifices, but rather strong feelings those sacrificial rites produced. Basically, it needs human thoughts and emotions, our awareness and attention. What we witnessed earlier was the result of a spike in humans' attention towards this world. The world is maintained through people's awareness of it. I don't buy it. Humans just thinking about this place changed the world? Yes, it does sound crazy, but in a way, all worlds are the result of human consciousness. The mind seeks ideals, builds a society to realize them, and then shapes an environment. In a sense, everything springs from human thought. So making people aware of this wor other world is the first step towards preserving it. It will begin with us. Then by making more people aware of this world, we can save it! With the understanding, of course, that this theory still needs to be verified. Human thoughts and emotions? So is that why those voices weaken the master? I believe there is a connection there, yes. As an egg, the master's wrath had waned, so only what was likely is true will remain. True will remained. It's possible that those voices and the belief behind them calmed his raging spirit. Calmed his raging spirit? Like what an offering would do for a god? Precisely. Historically, shrine maidens interceded between humans and the gods. The Venase song may work similarly, but aren't many voices better than one? Man, you know, I'm starting to think this might actually work. So, uh, what does all this mean? Basically, people in our world believe in this one. Everything will be fine, I think. Honestly, it all seems so insane. I have a hard time following it. But wouldn't it be great if all the people had to do was... If all, blah, wouldn't it be great if all people had to do was believe in this world to save it? Yes, that would be wonderful. I'm not sure I get it, Tacoma. Do you think this will work? I trust the professor. Our thoughts, feelings, and beliefs will save this world. So why don't you come back to my world with me, Agumon? What? You want me to go back with you? Wait, can we do that? Yeah, are you serious? You think it'd be okay? Well, that way we can test the professor's theory. And more importantly, it'll let us stay together forever. Isn't that right? You mean I could really stay with you? We could be together forever? Of course. Isn't that what we've been saying all along? Takuma! Yeah, what a wonderful idea. You can come too, Labramon. We'll all go together. Owie. Then after all, we go... After all... After we all go back as a team, we can stay together forever. Right. That way, even the professor's wrong, at least you guys will be okay. Come on, Akuma. Let's go. Tacoma, 
I don't know. I think it's still too soon for that. Too soon? What do you mean? I'm not sure. I don't fully understand it, but I feel like it's not the right time. Don't say that. We all feel the same way you do, Agumon. I think we need to say goodbye for now. Labramon. Gabumon. Is that how you feel too? Yeah, it is. But don't worry. I get it now. You never really abandoned me, Haru. And you'll do everything about this too, so we'll be together again in no time, right? Yes, of course. Of course we will. Oh, uh, come on. You sure we have to say goodbye? <laughs> Don't cry, Takuma. I didn't really get what the professor was saying, but basically as long as you don't forget about us, this world will be safe, right? As long as you remember me, we'll see each other again. So, we'll wait as long as it takes. We all believe in you. Good, because we won't let you down. That's a promise. And we'll keep it no matter what. Just you wait. We'll save all of you and this world. Isn't that right, everyone? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, you said it. You better believe it. That's right. Of course. I want to go with you, Akabon. I want you to come with. Miyuk Miyuki, you ready? Yes, I'll open the door of my song. Is this really the end? All right, here we go. No tricks, no twists, please. Goodbye, Agumon. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, Takuma. Take care. Until we meet again. Thanks, Takuma. Thanks, everybody! Let's head home. Unless there's a twist and this is just gonna stab me in the back. Please don't. Good things. I want good things. I want good things. I want good things. I want good things. I think it's good. We never did run into Piedmont again. Can't believe it's already been a year. Hey, Takuma and the others are coming... Oh, so we're just gonna skip ahead. Is this epilogue time? Well, that was the final battle. They say they'll be camping out like last year, and Kaido and Mew will be here too. And we'll be meeting them, of course. I can't believe you're checking your cell phone again. Well, I'm just concerned, that's all. I mean, who knows if this will stick in the cultural consciousness in this information-rich age. <laughs> you, you admit it. You're worried about whether our partners in the world are okay now. And isn't it and isn't that a really old phone? You should get an intelligent one like everyone else. They're called smartphones. What? Oh, who even cares what they're called? What I'm saying is you should get an upgrade. <laughs> it said upgrade. <laughs> yes, I see what you're saying. Miyuki hasn't caught up at all the changes in the past fifty years yet. It's so cute. Takuma and the others are posting videos and pictures from the other world online. Together with that footage of Piedmon and the reports of the door to the other world. Stories of that world and the monsters who live there have caught on as an urban legend. Yeah, ironically, the shrine's gotten so popular as a result that they rebuilt it. It feels like it all just happened yesterday. But really, it's been a whole year. It kind of feels like the start of a new faith. Nowadays, people's belief come in the form of digital information on the internet. The information there gets updated by people all the time. It's constantly being reworked. And with every update, people will think more and more about that other world. Meanwhile, that kind of explosion of exposure is sure to change that world as well. From now on, digital data will be the new form of belief that sustains it. Is this a way of making it the digital world? Because the, the faith of the Kimonogami comes from the internet, so they're digital monsters? That's actual... I like this. This is great. I love this. This is such a cool take on Digimon. This is so cool. Who knows? People may even come to refer to it as the digital world. Oh, now you're just s s snarking at me. The digital world, huh? Well, it never had a name before. Sounds good to me. 
Meaning I also have a new subject for my research on human belief and the possibility of transcending dimensional spaces. Though even I'm not certain of exactly how the mechanism works just yet. No doubt it has something to do with the power of your song to connect the two worlds. It's fascinating. Though, of course, I'm still an eccentric in the scholarly community. <laughs> well, they may be right about that. <laughs> yes, I suppose so. As I see it, the beings of that other world, once regarded as local gods or kimonogamy, will be transformed into digital beings in this internet age. Digital beings? Yes, I suppose that would make Gobumon and the other monsters of the digital world. You could call them digital monsters, or Digimon for short. This guy is out here just making the lore. Hmm, Digimon. I like the sound of that. Maybe it'll catch on. You may be right, Haru. But too much talk like that and you're sure to lose Takuma and the others. This is our first meeting in a year. We should focus on things that are fun. <laughs> yes, Miyuki. I'll be careful. Alright, now let's go. And put away that cell phone. I heard you're not supposed to use them while walking. Alright, sis. Let's go. So, we'll really be able to see Renamon and Gabumon again. Yes, absolutely. The other world will change thanks to the internet. It's probably more like our own. I imagine it won't be long before the door opens again. Oh, Haru, look! Everyone's here! They're all waving uh, to us! Yes, everyone's here! Let's run over to meet them, Haru! Yes, let's go! I'm I'm liking this so far. I'm just I'm I'm scared. I'm not gonna be uh, uh, credits credits roll because I'm scared until credits roll. Birth of the digital monsters. Okay, that's actually a neat ending. It feels like I have so many thoughts. I have thoughts over the whole thing. I guess I'll quickly just go over the ending and then my thoughts of the game as a whole. All right. The ending, I really like the ending. I do think that the Rinamon coming back super quickly was a little funky, but hilarious that the Kunemon's voice actor began with Ryo. <laughs> That's kind of funny. But I do find it funny that he's labeled as Professor to separate them. But it is a little... Yeah, the death of Rinnemon and the rebirth of Rinnemon is the only section that I felt was a bit wonky and weird. Everything else in that ending is fantastic. It had me on edge the entire time. It was just like, is anything going to happen? Is anybody going to die? Is anybody going to die? I got everyone through! I just realized that! I got everyone through! Yeah! I saved everyone! Who is Zukuyamon? Zulongmon? Behomon? I thought... Who are they? Were they... Mm, sp huh. <gasps> oh, oh, oh! Theory! Theory! What if... Because obviously if they have voice actors, that means that they have voices and they're a big part. What if they're Digimon that you fight if you complete the... The tails? The three tails that get you the fi the final move thingies? What if... if y <gasps> Those are the Digimon in the stories! Those are the Digimon in the stories there! In the stories, each protagonist has their own Digimon that they talk about through the five episodes of the story. Or are the, like, like main, like, point of view character there. So, if you gather all the stories, you fight them, presumably. That's cool! That's bonus content! That's cool! But, that revelation aside, I really like the ending. I really like the ending because, again, the entire time I'm just like, uh, 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 is anybody gonna die? Is what is it going on? What's the threat? It's like, it, this got me emotionally. I love this game. The translation, well, maybe not translation, but local. The grammar of the translation was wonky in some places. Five different endings. I got one. I think I got a good one at least. Not sure if it's the best, because again, I don't know. <laughs> again, Ryo and Shuji left me weird and little jumping into... 
And again, it's just like there's so many different things. <laughs> Last time, I took a look at the achievements. It's like, hee hee hoo, let's read the achievements. And some of them read like death achievements, and that scares me. But, yeah, there's like so much going on. I love this ending. Like, I'm going to take this as the best ending I could get th through this. Presumably. I assume. But I don't know, because I haven't... Uh, hilariously, I haven't been spoiled, so that's nice. It's like, it feels like I there's, like, so much opportunity and things. Like, again, there were, like, three Digimon in there that have voices that I didn't meet. So there's they're out there somewhere, presumably tied to the little story findings that I failed to find all of them. I think I found, like, two to three parts each for the stories. Not four, not one. Definitely not five. But, yeah. The ending? It touched me. Because I was on the edge of my seat. It was just like, at any moment, is bad thing going to happen? Is, this, is, is Piedmon going to rise from the ashes and stab my heart? Fear gripped me the entire way through until the credits. I, 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 I love the cheeky kind of cheesy end there with the professor going, With all the information about the other world being through digital space, perhaps it'll be known as the digital world. And the monster's there, Digimon. It was like, I love that, because, because again, I noted throughout the entire game, they never said Digivolution, they never said Digital World, they never said Digimon. They stuck to Kimonogamy, and I respect that for the ending. Th this is a charming, nice, like, evo like, not evolution, but like, an interesting take on Digimon. That Digimon in the digital world have kind of existed even before technology. And they, they were gods and spirits, a whole religion to themselves. And it, I love that it ties into like, oh, the, the faith is dying. Like religions are growing more distant, especially like small communal ones like the Kimonogamy. So the digital world is falling apart because it doesn't have faith. And the characters and Digimon of the digital world... The best ending is the true ending. Yeah, I'm only going. I'm just again. I assume something has to be up with Rio and Shuji. Something's weird there. And because my theory, my theory, is that because of the little story things, the the little story things that you can find, I feel like there has to be a new game plus. And again, we got ultimate evolution slate after the final battle. So, I, if, I can only assume that there is a new game plus, and that affects things somehow. I don't know how, but we will take a look, presumably after the credits are finished rolling and I'm done rambling. But yeah, the, this ending, this ending that I got, which, is, I'm again, I'm going to assume is the best ending that I could have gotten with this, if there, if there is indeed a way to save Shuji and Ryo in a new game plus run or something. I'm going to assume... I got the best ending that I could scrounge together. <laughs> and I was scared. I was scared the entire time. It was just like, what if somebody lies? Mm. But, yeah. That, that is one thing that I love about this game. If you go in without being spoiled, you have no idea where things are going to go. Because, sure, you can kind of game it a bit like, oh, perhaps certain people's... F like, surely the harmony, wrathfulness... Um, moral, like, choice system affects the story somehow. That has to affect the story some way, somehow. Like, oh, you got to this point in the story and have this much of this score, and now we'll go down this path. <laughs> it's probably something like that. So you can kind of game that thing, but at the same time, I have no idea. I can only assume that harmony and moral are decent, while wrathfulness might get people killed head-on. I don't know. I have no idea. But the other thing, the other thing that is kind of, oh, you can kind of game it, is the affinity system. Because you can see people's affinities and prioritize them during the limited time sections. And be like, oh, I need to raise them up because I'm scared. But even then, I didn't get everyone to the final Digivolution, like Saki and Minoru. So, and even then, even then the entire time, I'm just like, is anybody going to die? Is anybody going to die? I'm scared. But yeah, that is the one thing that I really like about this game. If you go in blind, and like even if you try to cheese certain systems, you have no idea where things are going to go. To get the true ending, you have to keep everyone alive. And I kept everyone alive that I could. I assume. It, again, 
Who knows? Maybe I just failed. Maybe Ryo and Shuji are just really hard to save. And you need to do, like, super duper good. Because, again... It felt pretty definitive, but at the same time, that could also just come from the nature of this game hiding the seams a bit better than some games. Again, this ain't Mass Effect. You can't just see, oh, I need that much points to get the, uh, the, the Paragon option. No, in this game, this game, it feels natural. That's the cool thing. It feels natural how things wove. So I can't pinpoint any one moment where I'm just like, like, what did I do wrong? Did I not get enough affinity? Did I need to be wrathful to punch Shuji in his gob to stop him from abusing poor little boy Lotman? Uh! But either way, I'm kind of thankful that I got some deaths this run again. I don't know. Maybe I could have saved them. Maybe I couldn't. This game has me going back and forth. I have no idea. But the impact that Rion Shuji had were good. Their deaths had impact on the characters and on me. Because the entire time, I'm just like, was there no way to save them? Was there? Wasn't there? Can anybody die? I thought I did good. And again, I actually had a, like a talk to some people about the early parts of Digimon Survive, like with, I forget his name, because it's like Kimoduko or whatever. The, the first spider champion Digimon you fight in the school Apparently, depending on your choices, you can get in there with only Aoi being taken, or with both Ryo and Minoru taken. For me, I had Minoru taken as well as Aoi in there, but had Ryo to back me up-ish. But, yeah. I love the music of this game. The graphics of this game were really good, except for a few moments where they super zoomed in on, like, Piedmon, where you could kind of see the aliasing of the uh, character portrait. So it's just like, maybe they could have done a, a higher resolution render of that. <laughs> I don't know. But like, graphically, that's my only gripe, is sometimes it'll super zoom in and you'll go, oh, yeah, I can kind of see the lower quality part of the texture zooming towards my face. But the flow, the story, I... I know some people, I think I've heard some people get annoyed that this kind of parallels Digimon Adventure some. But I actually adore that about this. You can kind of see some aspects of some of the Adventure Kids. Like, Shuji kind of gives me a Joe feel, but a, I don't know. Basically, it's like, what if we took these characters and uh, made things a bit darker? But even then, not really, because... Mew isn't really like Kairi or TK. Even though Kaito is kind of a more brash and emotional mat. <laughs> but I love the Digimon choices. I think Labramon is a new Digimon for this game. I'm not sure about Drachmon. And uh, it's like, I love this game. This game? This I've only played two Digimon games, but this is setting the bar really high. This blows Cyber Sleuth out of the water. <laughs> and I know I, uh, some people are also annoyed, like, eh, I didn't know that this game was like 70% visual novel, 30% tactics. Meanwhile, I, a person who went out of my way to avoid all spoilers, was like, yeah, I kind of expected that. But at the same time, I also don't like to assume too much with games anymore. I am a person who went into playing the indie game Gone Home, and I thought it was a horror game. No, it's a walking simulator where you piece together the story of uh, a character that lived in that house. Long, 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 long time ago, I played Gone Home, and I was like, Oh, uh, I think this is a horror game because of atmosphere. No, young me was just dumb. So nowadays, and like even earlier with this game, I still made some assumptions like, I got annoyed that Ryo died. I got really annoyed that Ryo died. It doesn't help that the last game that I played where it was, oh, you can save people and they can die was Mass Effect. So I was kind of expecting to be ever so slightly spoon-fed the ability to save people. But after I got over that hurdle and was just like, take this game as this game and it's wonderful. This is fantastic. This is a great Digimon game. 
And while I don't think every Digimon game needs to be as dark as this, like teenagers being eaten alive by Digimon who then speak in their voice, I don't think we need that every Digimon iteration. Uh, then again, apparently Digimon Ghost Game is the, the recent anime might also be a bit dark. I need to check that out. Need to check that out. Because I am on a Digimon high right now. And dear god, this is long... Credits. Long credits. But it's good music. That's another thing to touch on. The music. Fantastic. Even though sometimes certain epic parts of music wouldn't play for very long... The music is fantastic. The main theme is great. The battle theme is great. The orchestral feel of it all is great. Just listen to this music. Hopefully I didn't set it too low on the mixer. But what else? The characters? I really enjoyed the characters. They felt diverse and each having their own, like, feel and texture to them. And their own arcs. Like... Kaido and Mew's arc at the end there, utterly fantastic. Great wrap-up. And, like, even though the entire time I was like, the professor is Haru, like, I forget when, when I began saying it. Nothing at the end of the credits, so find a skip. Okay, I just want to get all my thoughts out while good music is playing, and I don't feel too, 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 but I'll wrap up my thoughts. Thank you, Common Games, and we will see if anything happens post- credits, even if it isn't a, like, post credit scene. But, yeah, the gameplay was really good, and the tactics, because you had to play tactical. And I think I only had four Digimon get killed during combat. Yeah, skip the scene, sure. So, so for the longest time, I was like, our characters go... Uh, our characters actually going to die if they die in the combat, especially for free Digimon. Ooh, cleared. Cleared, you say? If you Fuck you! Fuck you! I am very... If Rio's affinity was higher, maybe everyone would have survived! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew it! But it said cleared next to it, but let's see what happens next. Mugen... Mugen Recollection. I know Mugen is a word, but I don't know what it means. Because I only know it about, like, that fighting fight thing. Alright. What happens if we lo- Prologue forest area cleared. Prologue? I am interested. But final, final thoughts. Love this game. The characters are great. The graphics are really, really good. I do like how they blended the 3D and 2D aspects of this game. The Digivolution... The Digivolution system for combat is utterly fantastic. Utterly fantastic. It is what I wanted out of Cyber Sleuth. I was playing Cyber Sleuth like uh, almost two months ago now. And I was like, man, I'm kind of annoyed by this here evolution system with the ABI or whatever. Where you have to digivolve and then de-digivolve and then digivolve again sometimes to get certain digivolutions. That's annoying to me. Uh. And I think I even said during Cyber Sleuth that, hey, wouldn't it be cool if it just, like, was a cost thing and you could have uh, digivolve them however you want mid-combat? And this game did that, and that's fantastic. Let's see what happens! Let's see what happens! I'm interested! We're gonna have to go for the, uh, the whole, uh, thing thing again, but we know the prologue, there's Haru, and there's Miyuki, they're being chased by the Kinzoku. Then Gabumon and Rinamon show up to save them. Haru gets knocked into a portal. Gabumon, who is actually Gururumon, that's kind of weird. That's kind of a Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, like, uh leave out important information bit. That's still a cool... Again, the art in this game is fantastic. I love it. I didn't expect Rinnamon to be 
<laughs> That's kind of funny. Is is Terrier Mon in this game? I don't think Terrier Mon is in this game. You kind of think that he would, because Gilmon is here as a pre order Well, it was a pre-order. Gilmon was a pre-order, then it became a diddly D thing. I forget, it was like, yeah, because basically they went, hey, people don't really like the fact that they have to do, like, pre-order, especially for people on Steam, where they didn't even really get the opportunity to pre-order because it went live when it went live. Yes, yes, yes. Like the Beyonce shove from the Kenzoku. Also, that is one cool thing, that you can actually see the Kenzoku in the fog. And I think when I first started this, I'm like, hey, is that some kind of frog? Because, like, I'm just going to assume that nothing changed. This is the prologue. Nothing's going to change in the prologue. And I'll probably... I won't voice act anything, because I already did that once. That takes some time. We've spent an, uh, almost two hours playing this. It lets you put uh, all the text on fast forward and it'll stop on new dialogue you haven't seen. Really? I wonder where that option is, if it's like in options. I don't know. Dialogue, dialogue skipping. Oh. Post decision dialogue skipping. Stop skipping, continue skipping. Stop at decision, dialogue skipping red. All right. Now. No, I just need to remember uh, what's the dialogue skipping button. <laughs> Thank you for that tidbit, common games. Skip ahead. Again, seeing a kid get dragged through by the arms was horrifying. And <laughs> I'm gonna, uh, uh, once we get to the next, oh yeah, it's gonna be the anime opening. Go ahead and skip that. But yeah, when I first started this game, I knew that something was up with, uh, bibbity bop. Yeah, I'd like to skip the tutorial. In fact, let's see. Oh no, the affinity didn't come with. Oh no. I will side with, uh, the boy. You better review today's course or you'll end up getting lost again. Why are you treating me like a little kid here? I ain't gonna go crying to mama, you know. Well, to her, he must look like a kid. Still, how he's pretty patient with that mouth of his. Calm, gentle, and cute to boot. Even I forget about the age difference sometimes. I forget if the, is this new? I've, it's been so long, I forget what's new or not. She doesn't get annoyed by younger kids, which makes her a perfect match for Minoru. Go ahead and skip, yep, because that's well, not new. I don't know. Blip, blip, blip. But, yeah, I am just... In fact, yeah, moral, wrathful, harmony. All right, though. I'm glad we came here. I'm glad we came into this camp. It makes me... Uh, actually, uh, since it... I wish it would, like, uh, tell me what that means. Is uh, the dialogue skipping unread? Like when it stops or what it skips? Post decision dialogue skipping. I'll put that on. Just. Beep, beep, beep. And then I will save, just to be safe. I guess maybe I could look at the help? Nope. Or maybe. Menu other. Nope, doesn't seem to be. So we shall save. So yeah, aff affinity didn't cross over. I wonder what... I wonder what did. Very interested. Yeah, but I've lost my train of thought. Yeah, we already know how this goes. Let's talk to Owie, because we can. Talk to Minoru because we can. If only Cyrus Wolf had the fast forward feature, huh? Sometimes. But at the same time, when it comes to that kind of thing, I'm like, yeah, I'll go for it. I'll, I'll listen to everybody, everything, every time. 
triple check, make sure nothing else. Now we need to go to the landmark. Man, it feels odd to not be voice acting the characters. It feels weird. To not be like pressing through all the dialogue. But yeah, I just like really like the feeling, the, the art of everything. Just talk to people. Talk to campers. Get all the information, just in case. I'm paranoid. The key monogamy curse will find you. But yeah, that ending, like, one year later, skip ahead, was super cool. Just super cool. Just, this is a nice... Oh, no childish jibes? I suppose you wouldn't be so callous to joke at a time like this. I don't think I need to reactivate it. Of course, even though I know and watch my mouth sometimes, maybe, but I think I remember that. Did I accidentally click the skip ahead? I think I accidentally clicked the skip ahead. Hmm. I am very dumb. And now I must return to the man. But well, let's see if we can get Rio saved. Somehow. But it'll be a... I completed Survive 100% all achievements. That must have been like a... Oh. Let's see. Save. Because paranoid. But yeah. I kind of shudder to think, hmm... I forget it. Ow. Because I'm just... Uh, decisions. Because now that I know I can save Rio. Hmm. Let me check. Okay, nobody has been affinity yet. Hmm. Now I'm scared. Let them have fun. Where do you think you're going, Rio? Hey, I said hold on. Pipe down and back off. No, no, don't be like that. Yeah, I think we already went through this. Oh, I guess I have to kind of tap through. Interesting, you have to kind of tap through for voiced. But yeah, I have no idea what goes into, like, the actual 100%ing achievements. He's a B. Because a... Most of them are hidden. So I can only imagine. Let's talk to Shuji. Let's talk to Manoru. Now we go down the Tunnel of Doom. Yeah, because the first time that I played through all this and I got back to the real world from the digital world just slammed into me. Utter fear. Have to do all endings and collect all Digimon. That sounds like it would take a long time. I'm impressed. Is it still being used? Stone looks old, pretty worn down from the outside. Is it still being used? Not since I came here at any rate. Even the local brats won't come here, n near here. People haven't set foot in here for ages. I bet you'd see stray dogs or wild boars. Those guys went into a place like that? I imagine they just ran on in if Mew was with them. She's used to the place. It's getting dark, and the footing isn't that great here. Let's go, but watch your step. Back to skipping. Because really, we've been through all this before. It's just kind of superficial stuff. Ah, the red spider lilies. The demonic-looking munchkin monsters. Let's 
talk to Shuji because we can. Yeah, I feel like I just need to be careful. Just need to be careful. I'm scared. I want to raise everyone's affinities. Oh, I can't even bring out my phone. Sadness. I want to take a picture of the shrine. It's always cool that they... Hmm. Let's see. If look for sucking the others, still this place is weird. What's the best one? Because it would be cool to get everyone's affinity up to get all their super... Oh, wait. Uh... It takes a bit for the color to come in. I do find it kind of interesting that they kind of let you cheat these decisions. It's like, ah, come on. You can do the diddly dee. Oh, but I just love this game. It just has a nice interest, just a nice feel to it. I shall skip the tutorial we've been through here before. I don't think I need a refresher. Well, obviously, let's go to the shrine so we can talk to people. Skip the tutorial, yes. Reach the shrine. <laughs> Minaru's lost in his own world. And with the skip, I can go super fast. Talk to Owie. Yeah. I wonder what the five endings could even be. That's the thing. Probably various combinations of people dying. Like, that sounds almost harder to do. Also kind of sad that Shuji lost his capitalized, lowercase, capitalized way of talking. All right, time to look around. Present thyself, monster. Gutsamon. I forget exactly when the Gutsamon starts showing up. Can't lose track of him. Uh, we have to find them all as soon as possible. If Kai goes off on his own, we'll lose track of him too. Oh, sure, that's true. Ah, the lovely murals. Hmm. Let's go further in. Eliminate this place's possibility. Here's the professor. I forgot that he had glasses at the beginning. He's the only one I can talk to. And I assume that, because again, the last time that I found a story fragment has me messed up on whether or not I need to scan everywhere. Well, then again, we probably need to wait till we get to the digital world. And, or I guess not so digital world, because... Hasn't exactly been introduced into the world of online yet, has it? It'll be very interesting, because there, there has to be a reason why you can load a cleared save that obviously begins at the beginning that when you do a low a load in bibbidi ba let's see we have to save those guys we have to get closer i think i'm hmm. let's get closer have to save the people And then there's just like an army of Getsamon. Forgot about that. 
also forgot that we fell into the other world. As great as this opening is, we we've, we've seen it. Of course, save because paranoid still. Overgrown spider lilies. Might not be able to get the true ending if you keep moral, wrathful, and harmon harmony evenly. So it's best to dump most points into moral red just to be safe. Yeah. Well, I kind of tended to the moral anyway through most of my past playthrough. <laughs> my past playthrough, I was just like, I don't feel like wrathful is the best option ever. And I was like, early on, I was harmony. And then I slowly like began going mostly moral by the end. I guess that's why every... Well, then again, I don't know. At least most people survive but Shuji and Ryo. So at least I know a good, like, baseline. Carefully move closer. What did Minoru say? Use pictures. Here, yeah, little friend. Begin gum. Oh, I forgot that. Because it goes so quickly. It's just like, oh no, he wants me to do that afterwards. Let's try that one. I have to do him in the right order, so he'll come out and be my friend. Ryan Chuji are actually rigged to die in everyone's first playthrough. How rude! But at the same time, I'm kind of thankful for that because it does set a good tone for it. It does, like, set a good tone for it overall. And definitely brings the emotions. Let's wait and see. Maybe he'll be a friend. I can't let my guard down. Maybe I should just wait and see what it does? His body is made of stone. I have to watch out when it charges. Still, when I look closely, it doesn't seem all that strong. It's made of stone. Get headbutt in the gut. What the heck, man? I love that some sound effects. Yell to distract it. Hey, monster, your opponent is over here. I never heard that before. Lol. Yeah, it's very interesting that Ryo and Shuji are rigged to die. I wonder why the team decided they should be the one. Uh, they should be the ones to die. It's just like, l lol, Ryo, and Shuji, they die first. And depending on how you do it, the only, uh, only ones to die. It's a very interesting choice. It's the Gabumon. Like, see, if it, since it's so close up, you can actually see kind of the feathering on the line work. Normally, it looks just perfectly fine. It's just that... bibbidi ba. And still, I also kind of like the harsh language. It ends when it dies. Okay, he's gonna come smack me anyway. We shall... Play smart. Well, I probably not that smart. He's gonna get a side attack. I'm dumb. But now we can get a side attack of our own. Die. If I was really smart, I would have taken a look at his movement to try and... Wait. I forgot to look at his stats. Skip the tutorial. The one downside of skipping like this to be like, is there anything new? Is there anything new? Is 
I really did adore the story and the characters, and this kind of really jumps ahead of all that. And now we're back to part one. Funny that we began on the end of part 11. Well, okay, the levels stay. Neat. And apparently his level, this also stays. Obviously, we're not going to be able to just go Omega Mon. But that's interesting. Very interesting. Ah, uh, Falcomon and Labramon. Again, the characters in this game are just so good. Though it is kind of funny when the game... Because normally... We have to watch and wait. Let's wait and see what happens. They don't seem to be going after Minoru. Again, sometimes when I was playing this game for the first time, it would be nice if the game let me just see the first sentence of what I would say. And like, oh yeah, that makes sense. Instead of, let's wait and see if they die. Do you think the Gatsumon have been chasing Minoru this whole time? I wonder what happened. It's too dangerous to tackle something like that. Oh, yeah, uh, t bleh, bleh. Tackle something like that head on. Let's look for the right time to... Ah, shoot, another one just showed up. Nope, that's a good boy. That's a good man. Right, who said karma, the karma system. I completely forgot. Should probably read on that in the tooltips. To get a full information. Wait, what level are you, little man? Lol. That is all I have to say. In fact, I could probably just do it straight ahead and kill you. My poor little man. All right, battles are gonna be easy as hell. Wait. <laughs> I completely forgot because we have no need to. I will nuke you from orbit because po- on. Oh, I can't nuke him from orbit. Let's try it. Nope, damn. I can't nuke the man from orbit. Profound sadness. He comes nearer. He longs for death. Th this is genuinely hilarious. <laughs> Combat? That should be the easy thing. Keeping everyone alive? Through affinity and such? That's the hard part. <laughs> That's the real difficulty of this game. <laughs> Utterly hilarious to me. And again, save, because still paranoid. That is a hilarious thing. That you, whichever digivolutions you got, you can just go. Utterly hilarious. Yeah, because everyone... I think I missed out on some opportunity for affinity already. Which sucks. Let's see. I'll ask Owie. I did get the true ending, uh, dumping all points on Harmony, too, when I was trying to get the Harmony ending, but instead got the true ending because I... I didn't realize that Ryo has to die in order to get the Harmony ending, says Common Games. Yeah. That's interesting. Poor boy Ryo. He is the damned one. Answer directly. We go there to study, go to class, take tests, the whole shebang. <laughs> shebang? Still love the design of the rickety schoolhouse. Oh yeah, we're gonna be able to see a creepy Haru face soon. That'll be funny.
Because that's the one thing that kept me from, like, fully trusting Haru through 90% of the game. is just like, yeah, but you were a ghost face in, like, Chapter 2. Chap yeah, Chapter 2, Chapter 1, one of them. But yeah. <laughs> so I played through the story like five or six times to unlock everything. Yeah, that sounds about right. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. But I think that that will be it for now. I... Do -do -do -do. Hmm, because I don't know how much will be different, is the thing. Well, I guess I'll go much faster since I'm not reading everything. So I'll probably relegate Digimon Survive to a part of my schedule of streaming. Stream, like, this one day, maybe an MMO another day, as I just, like, try to fill out my schedule. But, yeah, this was an amazing game. And the game literally just came in and said, Hey, we know we rigged Ryo's death. But now he could be saved if his affinity is high enough, and I'm just like, asshole. I mean, it made the story better, but asshole. <laughs> but yeah, this is only again hilarious that we just show up. We everyone is here. Everyone is here. This big funny. How dare they make the story more engaging and interesting by making us think that characters could die at any time. They're absolute monsters. <laughs> but, yeah. And, and the cool thing is it also adds replayability to it. On top of, hey, you want to get all the endings? Just, basically, it gets people, they're like, but I want to save everybody. And it freaking pulls an Undertale, where it's like, hey, perhaps if you were a better friend to Ryo, he'd be alive, except you couldn't be a better friend to him, because I, the hand of the game, wouldn't allow you to be a better friend to him. But now I will let you, because you beat the game once. How does that make you feel? <laughs> Kunemon is going to be so low level. <laughs> He's going to be so low level when we finally get to use him. But yeah, Digimon Survive, utterly fantastic. I would dare say on a first playthrough, 9 out of 10 for me. The music is great, the graphics are great, the gameplay is great. Though I do think the visual novel part can be kind of gamed, maybe... Again, I didn't know that going moral was the right path to save as many people, I think. Like, maybe s somebody drifted into chat and was just like, huh, ah, you're going moral path, aren't you? Or something like that. I don't know. My memory is shot. But yeah, this game is fantastic. Love it. And I will definitely do quickie little playthrough parts of these, this new game plus. To try and save Ryo and see how that affects things. See if we can save Shuji from being an asshole. And see how that affects it. Because because here's the thing. Ryo died like a fourth into the game. Ryo died... Uh, no, Shuji died. Uh, uh, did I say Ryo twice? My brain is melting. But yeah, Ryo died in like the third chapter. Shuji died in like the sixth chapter. So it is like, so much of the game didn't have them. It'll be very interesting to see if, like, how much that kind of thing changes. That'll be very interesting. But yeah, love this game. And I'm kind of glad that there's this cool little, hey, no game plus-ish kind of thing. And I forgot that, like, games like to do that sometime, where they're like, new game plus, but you just load a complete save. I think Final Fantasy XV did that. But yes, thank you very much for watching. If you want more from me, you can check out my YouTube channel where all these streams end up as archives at Neon Icy Games. Where games like Mass Effect 1, 2, and 3, Kirby in the Forgotten Land, this, Cyber Sleuth will go up eventually, and uh, my playtime of uh, having played some Final Fantasy XIV is also going up. But yeah, you can go and watch them there if you so want to. And then... 
For those watching the archives, you can catch me playing these games live at twitch.tv slash neoniceywings. If you want to see more art from me, like my little avatar on the screen, with expressions that actually function now, that I games won't be like, oh yeah, we know you have numlock on, but we're still still gonna recognize two as like both an arrow key and two to mess with your controls. Ha ha ha. Not I finally figured out that problem. But yeah, if you want to see more art from me, like my little avatar on the screen, you can see more on my Twitter, Tumblr, Newgrounds, and DeviantArt. All of them at Neon Icy Wings, except for Tumblr, which is Icy Wings Art Corner. But yes, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you dudes next time. Where, I don't know, we might start something new, we might play more Final Fantasy XIV, we might just continue doing the new game plus Digimon Survive, I don't know. But yes, thank you very much for watching, I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>